Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been another great Formula One season for McLaren so far, and let's hope that success can be continued here today in Paris. I think the answer to that could be hidden just over there. Let's not waste any more time. If you could help welcome me onto the stage, the McLaren Automotive Executive Chairman, Ron Dennis, and the McLaren Automotive Managing Director, Anthony Sherris. <laughs> How does it feel to be at McLaren's first international motor show? Uh, scary. <laughs> uh, <very laughs> There's a scary. lot of people here. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love to welcome you all to uh, our very, very first uh, automotive show, uh, a show that we've all been looking for and planning for for a great uh, many months, and a show which hopefully captures a little bit of the emotion and passion that uh, all of the people in McLaren have for their products, uh, be it a Grand Prix car or some of the products that you're going to see today, or, or most certainly a new product, the P1. Well, Anthony, McLaren has been so long associated as being a Formula One company. It's also now a car company. Tell us about that journey. It's been absolutely thrilling. I remember coming to Paris two shows ago, four years ago, and we had lots of ideas in our head, lots of plans on paper. Um, but what we actually had on the market was, was nothing yet. And here we are, 2012 in Paris. Uh, we have a full product lineup of cars. We, have, we will deliver by the end of this year uh, about 1,500 cars. We have 38 dealers operating in 22 different countries. We have a brand new state-of-the-art production facility. We are, in small scale, a real car company now. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, we're all here for a reason, and I'm sure you, like me, can't wait to see this new car. Ron, if you'd like to do the introduction. Well, uh, again, thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing the moment. We're going to capture, I hope, some of the passion that we have for our products, some of the passion that you're, uh, is well reflected in, the, in this particular product. May I give you uh, the P1? This is an absolutely stunning looking car. Let's start with the name. I presume P1 comes from the racing side. P1, yeah, it has uh, perhaps its heritage from the iconic F1. Uh, one of the few cars that I think uh, very quickly started to appreciate. We want this to uh, follow the same uh, trend. Uh, P1 on the grid, P1 meaning you win. There's nothing like it, and we thought an appropriate uh, and simple to remember uh, name. And of course, it captures everything that we're about. Formula One heritage with form following function. Anthony, tell us about the goals, the aims of the McLaren P1. Well, part, part of McLaren's DNA is to design cars that at one can give you uh, race car-like performance, but at the same time also be something that you can drive on the street. And if anything, P1 is this taken to its absolute extreme. What we've tried to do 
and what we're trying to do is to create a car which gives the same sensations and the same performance as a true GT race car on the track, but you can also drive it home. We do this through a huge amount of technology that comes from our Formula One team, a huge amount of technology we develop within uh, automotive, and specifically about groundbreaking aerodynamics. And Ron, I understand a lot of the work that went into honing the aerodynamics come from your experience in Grand Prix racing. Perhaps if we just take a walk around the car, you could point out some of the things. Well, uh, everything is really designed for a purpose. Every outlet on the car is optimized for efficiency. With uh, the sort of performance that we have with this car, we've got a lot of heat management, we have a lot of uh, aerodynamic challenges, and of course, uh, you know, we want to do that in such a way that the car doesn't just look full of holes. <laughs> and uh, also we want to exploit all the pressure areas on the car, which uh, actually drives one of the quite unique features is where main, our main cooling is actually through an aperture in the door, also increases the lateral protection for the occupants, uh, and that really minimizes the uh, frontal area devoted to the inlets. And then towards the back of the car is where the car really starts to take on its heritage, uh, phenomenal amount of underbody detail, and of course, uh, very complex geometry expressed in the diffuser. There's really nothing here which is for show. Everything is for a purpose, and of course it generates a tremendous aerodynamic uh, uh, performance and efficiency. So Anthony, if you could just put some of that in, into more layman's terms. <laughs> so, so very simply, uh, this car generates 600 kilos of downforce, and that's at speeds that you might actually drive uh, on, on a track, not at top speed. Yeah. Or to put it another way, it's like having a teenage elephant as a passenger on the roof. Yeah. That's more like a teenage yeah. elephant. <laughs> teenage elephant. <laughs> but you've got to remember that teenagers have to be controlled. <laughs> and uh, of course, the control system on this car is pretty elaborate. We have a <laughs> deployable wing, which in fact is in the DRS mode, low drag mode. And then ultimately, when it starts to function in conjunction with all the other aerodynamics, it goes into a high performance mode, which gives you a, a very uh, significant aerodynamic uh, change, which balances the car at high speed. Ron, Anthony, thank you very much. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much to all of you for coming here tonight. We're going to let you take some photos, and then you can join us maybe in Geneva for the next chapter on, in the story of the McLaren P1. Thank you. Thank you. The McLaren P1. More information and a full set of images may be downloaded from the McLaren Automotive Media site. Thank you for joining us. We wish you a wonderful evening.